You have done your worst. I will never trust you again. I'll never forgive you, ever! Nancy. Wait, wait, wait. Who was that? Why did you leave like that? Why? Chief Badmos was in that suite. Your Chief Badmos? I thought you said he was out of town. That, that is what he told me. To my greatest surprise, I walked in there and I saw him. Jesus. Do, do you have an idea what would have happened to me if he had seen me there? That would have been the humiliation of the highest order. Men. Why do men always like behave in this way? Why? Wait, anyway, what, what happened to Nancy? What went wrong? Um, I think George Chibadnos raped her. What? Jesus Christ. I think. I don't know. That can be true. I told you. That was sheer wickedness, Paul. That was sheer wickedness. On her part, me. But on your part, that was sheer stupidity. What are you trying to do, Paul? Look, you know what I've been through, and you're trying to add salt to injury. Why? You haven't been through anything, my man. You only wanted to have a romp with some mystery girl. Yeah. What can you imagine? I stood up the ass on end, but to no avail. Oh, that's some good exercise. At least you got something out of it. Well, God knows I'm not, I'm, I'm not just going to let it go like that. So what are you going to do about it? Guy, I will track down that babe and get my own cut. Your own cut of what? Well, if you were me, I'd rather you be nice to you so that when I get her, you can get a piece of the action. <laughs> Fool. Keep it. Oh? Keys now. Please. Nancy, 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 please. Please don't tell me this is what I think it is. I have to go. Nancy, I know, but please, look. You don't have to go. Okay, I, 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 I know you have the right to walk out of here and never speak to me again, never see me again, or anything at all. You, you have that right. But what I'm saying, Nancy, please, is. I was going to come to the room to apologize to you when Chica told me what had happened, but I was just so ashamed and I... You were going to come and apologize? Will that take away the trauma or the humiliation I went through? I know, Nancy, I know. I know that. And look, I want you to believe me for one thing. What happened was never, never intentional. Okay, good God is my witness. I had no idea this was going to happen. Okay. Look, I don't know what else to say, but please, just don't make any hasty decisions, okay? Don't, don't, don't make decisions when you're annoyed. You know, you, you, you're angry. Nancy, please listen to her. She told me how far you both have come. If you leave now, you're going to break her heart. Please. Nancy, please. Hmm? To be left alone, please. Nancy, if you like, beat me up, punch me in the face so that my nose will no longer be on my face. I am not going to leave here until you hear me out. You have to. You had it all planned out. That's why you took me there and simply disappeared. Never! Look, Nancy, I would never in my life take you anywhere and allow such evil before you. I would never do that. Tell me something else. <sighs> okay, 
Look, let me tell you the truth. I have this man I've been seeing and he told me he was going to be out of town and I believed him. What has that got to do with what happened to me? Nancy, I walked into that place and I saw him there. You know, I didn't go there to see him. So it was like, Jesus. You actually went there to see another man? Is that what you do? My goodness, have I, have I become so blind that I can't see beyond my nose? That is what you truly do? Yes. That's what I do. That's how I see myself through school. Are you looking for me for? Yeah. Perry. Tell me, where did you bring those girls you took to Chief the other night? Which girls? Oh, 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 oh. those girls? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Those girls are very special girls. I mean, they're very sweet, special girls. I have their contacts. One of them left before you, when you were about to take them to Chief Zara. Um... Zara? Sure. I want her. <laughs> Ogachuma, you want Zara? Yeah. You want Zara? Sure. Man, that girl will cost you a lot of money. I mean, she's very expensive. Very, very, very expensive. How expensive? I'm talking about 300k. What? And honestly, I heard that what she can do to you, you can build it. That girl is hot like Timaya. I swear to God. Perry, you're very funny. Am I buying her forever? I'm not saying that you're buying these girls. These girls are very special girls. These girls are insured. They undergo medical checkup every blessed week and I see to that. And you don't have to have fear of contracting HIV, STDs and with this group things they do. Oh my God, you will sweat. Very. do I look like any of your money misread kind of clients? Look, I just want her for a day. That would be okay for me, okay? Now, can I have a contact? Ah, uh, Gachuma, please don't go there. Please don't go there. No, I don't mean any disrespect. But I'm, I'm not sure that if she, she'll be happy if I just give out her number just like that. You know, but if you still want her, I will give it for you myself. Perry, a lot of contracts have come across to you through me. But if you think you can destroy this relationship, by refusing my simple request, then trust me, I would disappoint you. I'll get you, my please. Don't, 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 don't speak like that, I beg. Don't, don't talk like that. You know. So what are you saying? No, man. Got you, man. You promised me we were going to work hard to earn money. You promised. There are no jobs out there. There are thousands and hundreds of graduates out there on the streets working at the soles of their feet to get jobs, but they cannot get jobs. Who am I? Uh, an undergraduate. How am I supposed to get a job? There's got to be something else you can do. Really? Like right now you want to sweep the streets? If that is what you want to do, then be my guest. Are you sure that you would find someone out there to patronize you? Why don't you pray to God? Stop sleeping with this man and pray to God to give I you don't. something to do. I, I do not sleep with those men. I don't. Okay? I. I just arrange the girls that sleep with them. That's what I do. I don't understand. Nancy, I know that it's going to take me like forever to be able to get your forgiveness and I'm ready to plead for it because... Look, I don't sleep with this man, okay? I just have girls that I arrange to sleep with them. 
Now, anyone who insists on sleeping with me, I insist on a threesome. And at the end of the day, I just make sure that they get so drunk that they cannot tell one girl from the other. That's all I do. It doesn't make any sense. As far as I'm concerned, you're no better than those girls you use. I know that. But they know the truth. Hello? Eh? I they hear you now. How far? I just deal. I just they have you. <laughs> eh. Hot skin getting married? It's a lie. So who? <laughs> hey, babe. Where did the guy come from? South Africa. Hey, <laughs> baby, just me, just me, just me, just me. Jesus. We are there all this way. Yeah. Hot Kim. I better be hot Kim, why you know? Hey, <laughs> God. What I just told you. It's nothing but the truth. I'm not judging you. But you are worse than those girls. We worse than them. I know that. But the truth of the matter is that I've been working on leaving this job. I have made my plans on leaving. You know, it's not like I really like it here. But whatever I'm saying to you today is the truth. I'm just saying the truth. I want to remind you to please uh, check for that address you said Chica gave to you. I want to go to that her school and see her. Chica did not give me any address. But she said we could call her if we... Mama, at times you talk as if you're not in this village. You know how bad network is in this village. Mm. When you want to call somebody, if the network is not bad, the person's number will not be available. And you know how bad my phone is too. So it's better I go there and see her myself. That's true, my son. That's true. You will go. Um, Mama, since Chica is doing wonderfully well, I would want to go to that school and uh, talk sense into her and getting married. You know men now, very soon they will be scared of getting married to her because of her success. Because you have a point here. Hmm? You will go. We have to look for a way. Mm. You know, go. Okay. Mama? Mm -hmm. Let me go. Oh, but please, eh? Look for that address. I want to go and see her. Who's a word, Ryan? I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go Me like that. Look, let me imbibe it into that skull of yours that I wasn't high on anything when I told you that girl kissed me. Did I do? <laughs> Chopa, if this is what you came to tell me this evening, then you are either high on horse shit or something very nasty. 
Oh, you never know. You never know here. Her name is Zara. And this is her number. This number looks familiar. What did you say her name was? Not on your life. Look, you want to memorize the number so that you can have a go at her before me? No, 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 you miss it. No, you can't. You can't, I tell you. Yes, wait. <clears throat> Chuma, let, let me just take another look at that number. No, no, no way. No way. Oh, oh, oh look, let, let me, let's, let's look at it. Let's, let's do it this way. Maybe after having a go at her and uh, you make me happy, uh, chances are I could uh, give you the chance to do too. I put on one condition that you also agree that you are high on horse shit. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, are you sure about what you just told me about hot cake? <laughs> Who told you? One of our friends called Susie. Give me her number. I need to talk to her now. What do you want her number for? I thought you guys were through with your friendship. Does it look like I need her friendship? Look, I just want to be in Ashwabi. I need to check out who she eventually is going to settle down with. Are you out of your mind? Babes, if you were not out of your mind, you will not be in this business in the first place. Whatever. Just give me the number. But seriously, Messi, why would you want to be in Hot Kim's Ashwabi? Why? Do you not feel the need to flaunt this asset in front of Hot Kim's future husband and his friends? They're all prospective clients. You never know. Maybe we could find some of them who can actually pay the bills. That's interesting. Mm. I was actually thinking it was just a solidarity. Solidarity what? Are you kidding me? Give me the number, Joe. Anyway, I'll give it to you. <coughs> but, what about your friend Nancy? Oh, she's really taking this very badly. <laughs> I think she will do very well in business, you know. But I will not let her talk, talk you out of something. Never. Can I ask you a question? Is she a virgin? What? Why don't you go and ask her yourself? Uh, what do you mean? You know? And make sure you don't upset her. I will. And hey, the number! <laughs> Good day. My name is Chuma. I would like to speak with Zara. Yeah, who's this? Don't you remember me? Uh, last night at uh, the hotel. You kissed me and you told me to, not to move. You said you would come back and you never did. I don't know you. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what? Don't call this number again. Do you understand? What's this?
I'm so I'm so sorry for what happened to you last night. See, I, I was so mad at Mercy for leaving us there because if she was there, things would have been a whole lot different. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Chica, don't you think it's about time you left this disgraceful job of sleeping with men for money? Nancy, what has happened has happened. Please, I beg of you, find it in your heart to forgive us and push the past behind. Please. God help us. Anyway, um, this is 200,000 naira. It's for you. 200,000 naira? Chica, I don't remember working for this money. You worked for it last night. Chica! Last night? Rape? Is my dignity worth 200,000 naira? Is my virtue worth 200,000 naira? I can't accept it. I can't even touch it. Please, I, I want nothing to do with this. Nothing. It's okay. It's okay if you say so, but whenever you need them. I, 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 I don't want any part of it. You can still call on me when you need it. Hmm? I've done my part. The rest is up to you. On the assumption that they will attend Hot Kim's traditional wedding. Listen. I know Mercy more than she thinks, and I'm very sure she can't stay away from that wedding. She's gonna come to know the kind of guy Hot Kim has hooked up with. Just monitor them closely and make sure you hit them along the road. Then all fingers will point on arm drivers. Sure, I'm gonna do my best. I will do my best. Later. Oh. All right. Robbers strike and weird. On the streets or in the house, a heat is a heat. What did you say? I was asking you why you rejected the money Chica gave to you. It's yours. It's not mine. And I won't touch it. Listen, Nancy, you will need that money. I promise you that. There'll be school fees to be paid, bills to be settled. So many other things that will make your life easier. God will not forsake me, Mercy. I know that. But Nancy, hey, I, I know you're still upset about what happened. But you don't have to make a decision when you're still upset. Just think about it. You will need this money. Think about it, please. the hints. Ah, uh, it's left I had to take it. Uh, you know, leave it. And you think it would be easy to break her? Obviously, she doesn't have an alternative. If she did, she'd have left by now. But since she's still here, that means she has nowhere to go to, neither does she have anyone to turn to. So, with time, I'm sure she'll realize that what we're offering her is her best bet right now. Is that going to make her happy? I don't know. All I have is what I, I've offered to her. You know, it's either she takes it and makes herself happy or she doesn't. The choice is hers. Mm. Pass me the remote, please. Funke, okay. do you really mean what you just do for him? Huh. Babe, listen. When Ifoma joined us, I saw it as a sign that Mercy's clique was weakening. Oh, but before I could use the babe to advantage, she built the nose and went back to Mercy. What do you want me to do? Listen to me. Girl, honestly, if you ask me, I don't think that's enough reason why you should strike. To you, it is not enough reason. But to me, it is all the reason I need to strike them so hard. Now listen to me, Funke. Uh -huh. Is this your decision or our decision? 
It is for our own good. Mm -mm. That's good. Your own good. Now listen to me. Whatever you're doing, you have to make sure this is fail safe. Mm. Because me, hot skin, I don't want to go around that police station much more of seeing the inside of that cell. I live in police. Can you understand? You don't even need your permission to carry out a cleansing process that will make us richer and more powerful. Jeez, see how those girls live big on campus where we just sit by and, and watch them. It is about time things change around here. Yes, I agree with you. But it's definitely not the way you're going about it. Exactly. Okay. Funke, you have to be careful. I've heard. Because I don't want to partake in this. I've Very heard. Very careful. I've heard. Why would you be asking me such a question? Because I need an answer. All right, all right, all right. I have to be very honest with you. You know I love you and I'm willing to do anything for you. But honey, I cannot marry you. I can't afford a second wife. Oh, really? She cannot afford a second wife? Why, Chief Badmas? Why? You have chains of businesses littered all over the place. What exactly it is you need to get a second wife? What? Honey, it's not as easy as you think. You've been asking all kinds of strange questions. What is going on? Is there something you're not telling me? When are you getting me my car? I know you're not happy. And it's not because of the car. Maybe there's something you don't want to talk about. As for the car, I promise you, two weeks, I'll buy you a brand new car. But two what? Honey, I just bought my wife a shopping mall. Oh. And that has eaten deep into my budget. Right now, there's nothing I can do. But give me a couple of weeks, I'll do something about that. You know what? Wait a minute. Where are you going? I thought you were staying over. I changed my mind. Go back to your wife. Mercy. Come here. Mercy, come here. I said, come back here. What is wrong with this girl? Oh my goodness. Damn. This girl, young girls of nowadays, man, they drive you nuts. My dear, I was so angry, I could not even coordinate my thought. First of all, he lied to me about being in town. And then he organizes an orgy, sleeps with my friend, and then he had the audacity to tell me that he was not going to change my car because he bought a shopping mall for his wife. How is that supposed to be your business? He's only trying to tell me that I am not his wife. I'm only a whore, therefore I should just eat the crumbs from his table. This is rubbish. Around nonsense. How is that supposed to be your business? I am so angry that I can't even... I can't even think of what to do to this man. Mercy, not be you again. Calm down. I know when you're in a better frame of mind, you will think of something. Not be you. Let's let's mercy. I better calm down, Joe. What's the happen? Oh, girl. How, how is Nancy? Oh, that one. I don't know. She should be in school. She's preparing for her whatever. Registration or whatever. She doesn't want anybody to even go close to her. She'll be fine. Gosh, I I need to do something. I, I'm going to check out the wife's shopping mall. <coughs> Why? What's funny? That's what I want. To... Please. Messy. Messy. <laughs> so that won't happen now. That's what I want to do. Nancy, I'm sorry to come in without knocking, but. 
I'll leave if I'm disturbing anything. No, um, Chica, you. You're not disturbing me. So, how is your diploma admission going? Very well. I'm done with everything. I'm just. I'm thinking about actually forgetting about it. And then go back to the village. Good for beats. How can you say a thing like that? People in the village are thinking of how to come back to the city and you're thinking of how to go back to the village? Fine, if you go back to the village, what are you going to be doing there? Farm? If farming would help me survive, then I don't mind. Why should you talk like this? I don't have money to pay my fees. I can't afford it. I don't have anyone to pay the fees for me. I'd be a fool not to realize that. Nancy. You can pay your fees if you want to pay your school fees. You have 200,000 Naira with me. Please do not consider going back to the village. I beg of you. Think about it. Excuse me. your problem. Chibo, do I look like someone that has a problem? I just elected to spend less time at home so that I can watch you bring in your second wife. My, my second wife? What the hell is that? You think I don't know that you're hiding Nancy somewhere to bring her in at the right time? Or you think... Please I shut up your mouth! Keep quiet! You just open your mouth and what comes out is, is, is a bunch of rubbish, a, 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 bunch, of, a, a bunch of nonsense! This same girl, you never wanted to stay in this house. Now she's gone and you're complaining. Get a grip. Chibo, I don't have time for all that nonsense. I don't have time for your blabbing. What I am waiting is for you to bring her in into this house and see if you not carry her cups to the village. In fact, I dare you as a man to try it. Try it. Try it, I dare you. Oh. And I'm waiting. Rubbish. I just want to take a walk and clear my head. Hey, let's see. Just be careful. I will. Okay. Hey, thank you. Seriously, what is she up to? Let's just say she has gotten out of her shell and she has loosened her. It's rather so sudden anyway, but it's a good sign, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Girl, we're running like... Wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Hey, Nancy. Perry. What's my name? You know what they call me. I'm not happy with you. You disappointed me the last time I was here, as far as the number of girls you were supposed to bring. You think I'm going to allow you to pull a fast one on me? I won't let you do that. Oh, Chief, why are you talking this way? 
Eh? You know, I can't even try it. I can't even try to betray you. I don't even know what happened that night. But I've called the girl to remind her that she owes you for one more night service. And she promised to come and fulfill it. I don't know if you want me to call her now. Not today, I'll let you know. Okay, Chief. Anytime, sir. Anytime. And um, I'm sorry once again. It won't happen again. Whatever. Let's go. Hello. I can't help but say that business has been so good this year. And I just keep thanking God for all his plenty messes. You know, I'm saving all my money to get a very big car. And by the time I'm done launching it, hey, trust me now, you'll be so proud of a girl. Really? Mm hmm Chica, you know you're, you're very greedy. You know that, right? Oh, no. You're very greedy. You want your first car to be a range sport. Hmm. Good luck, Sabin. Good luck to you, too. For? At least your marriage to Prince Paul. Mm, whatever. And you too, good luck taking <laughs> over when I go. Because oh. I'll soon retire anyway. <laughs> Let's see. It's not going to be easy fitting into your shoes. Anyway, that's my problem, Sha. By the time I get my big car, I'll continue from where you start. You've always been a smart babe. I'm sure you'll figure it out. And as for Paul, Hmm, I just, I pray to God that this whole marriage thing works out. Because I really, really have frustrated the poor young boy. I think it's time I gave him a big surprise. Mm. I'm all ears. What's a surprise? No. <laughs> it's only for couples. It's not for a bloody... <laughs> Pinsters like you. Mercy, but seriously, I really need to know what the surprise is. Now, what you need to know is that even Paul himself would not see it coming. Oh, I see. <laughs> Interesting. I think we should go and pay um, Hot Kim a visit. Mercy, see, seriously, I, I don't know. I have a reservation on that one. I don't want it to seem as if we're. Desperate. Come on. Everybody knows that we don't belong to those desperate girls in school. Just eat up and let's go see the tart. You're insulting her. You want to go and see her. Go. <coughs> Fine. I want to be in Ash, baby. Yeah. But she is still a tart. She will remain a tart. <laughs> well, well, that's true. I've always loved you like my own daughter. And um, you know I could do anything for you, just to make you happy. But apparently I have failed to stamp my authority as far as taking care of you is concerned. And um, quite honestly, it, I did that because I didn't want you to break my marriage. I wouldn't want that, sir. Never. I'd never want that to happen. Yeah. But you see, I, I know you wouldn't have gone through what she, you just told me if I had provided that safe haven for you in my house. I want to say that I'm very sorry, Nancy. There's nothing to be sorry about, sir. I do know that you have your limitations. Well, not anymore now. Um, I promised your mother that I was going to take care of you. I know I may have shared my responsibility as far as that is concerned, but your school I will make sure that you go to school and I will foot the bill. Thank you so much, sir. I do appreciate it. See, I've had a lot of frictions with my wife because of you. But <laughs> she has no idea. She doesn't even have the faintest idea that I have no feelings, no amorous feelings towards you. I know that, sir. Uh, I do know. And I, I honestly appreciate it. All right. You can call me anytime. You still have my number, I guess. Yeah, I, I still have your number. I do. All right. Um, come. Come tell me more about where you stay and how they're taking care of you. 
Okay? Because I certainly see that. Getting married. Yeah. Congratulations! Thank you. I'm so happy for you. Oh my god, thank you so much. Congratulations, girl. Thank you, darling. You guys are so chic, darling. I really oh, appreciate it. I know. You know, to show you how happy I am for you, girl, what can I do for you? Let me stay. I want to be in your ash, baby. Are you serious? Of course. I mean, I don't want to say, let me be your team bridesmaid. That would be too much work for me, but I'll just be in your train. That would be so nice. Mm -hmm. yeah? And I'm going to be part of that. Really? Before I come? Uh, oh, thank you very much. You know what? Just send me your account number and I'll credit it for you so you can pay for the clothes. You're going to do that? Uh, sure. Oh, thank you very much. Nothing. Sweetie, you don't have to hurry up. No, I no. I'm going to tie this on thing. I understand. See you guys later. Yeah. Oh, man. Thank you. Oh. Thank you very much, darling. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Wait a minute! Hey! Wait, oh! What is that big peacock feeling like? He just won a million dollar contract. A million dollar contract. <laughs> Look at them. Almost the evil plans that hatch. God. The news of my marriage is spreading around the school already. How do I face these people when they find out that this guy only used me? God. Why did I fall for this trick man use these things? Wherever you are, God will punish you. You will never have peace. Ah! Chief, God will punish you. You know what? We are going to see this man that has made us suddenly feel bigger than everybody else. Can you? I don't disturb this match, I think. Yeah, thanks. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know why some men are so dumb that find it very hard to read in between the lines or get the message. I told this idiot that I saved his name as a fool on my phone to stop calling me, but he will not listen. This is not fool. What you have on the screen is Paul. Paul? Who gives him? Who gives him? Hello, baby. Sweetie. Hello. Hello, sweetie. Messi, what's the problem? From what I can hear, he's obviously watching March, I know, in the background, but why would he call me and not say anything? Why don't you just concentrate and let's go home safe, please? You can talk to him later, maybe when you okay. get home. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Paul, huh? Mm -hmm. Can we watch the match now? Yes. yes. Push in! You see what I told you? See what I told you this guy is? Yeah! Yes! Ah! Serious! Serious! Ah! This guy needs to be sold. I tell you. Ah. 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 Ah.
season. He's playing on the right hand side and the left. Number one main striker to get Arsenal. You have a text message. I have a message. Please help me. Because you know I won't give it to you. I know. That's why I said you should read it. Okay. Zara, it's nice to know your name is also Messi. What? Give that to me. Give it to me. Messi, please. You have to I am print. going to pack, okay? okay pack. I need to read this. Okay. Why did you not tell me it was half full that sent the text instead of making me jump out of my skin? What? Messi, what is it? What is it? Messi, what's the problem? I never knew you were Paul's fiance. And I was just about to tell him how we met last night. Call me. What Mr. the what? fuck? What's going on? Messi, what's the problem now? Just... Please drive carefully, please. I don't want to die yet, please. Dad come back and eh? tell him I went out, okay? Mom, what problem are you have with my dad? What kind of question is that? You just do what adults do when they are scared of facing the truth, avoiding an answer. What did you mean by that? What kind of problem are you have with my dad? Come here. I don't have a problem with your daddy, okay? When I come back, I'll talk to you. Take care of your house. Eh? Bye, Mommy. Who is this? Yeah. I thought you would never ask. Yes. I remember the first time you and I had a kiss and uh, you told me not to. <laughs> you remember all those? What do you want? Hmm. All right. I'll tell you what. I am in room 104. Share suits. Yes. I would want to see you there in the next 20 minutes. Yes. And this so that you and I can finish what we started. Yes, Mama. I was just thinking about what happened at the site today. Mama. But I thought you said you would be visiting your sister tomorrow in school. <laughs> yes, Mama. I've not forgotten. I know. <laughs> and you are still awake. Please go, go to sleep. You know you have a long journey to make tomorrow. Mama. Mama, don't worry about me. I am fine. Mama, even if I sleep very late, 
I will still wake up more refreshed than those that slept all through the night. Mm -hmm. I know my system. <laughs> In that case, Mom, me, I'm going to bed. Eh? You can come to bed anytime you feel like. Oh but make sure you sleep early. <laughs> because of the trip tomorrow. No go? I will, Baba. Thank you. Right. Make okay. sure you pray. Oh. I will. I'm here for Christ's sake for you to make me feel like a woman. You are just sucking like a secondary school boy. Car. Wait, I, I want to get the point. What is going on? You used to be very careful about sleeping out. But these days you don't care anymore. You bump into me and then you tell me you want to sleep over. Your husband calls your phones, you don't pick his calls. What's happening? I need explanations. Okay. If you need an explanation, I'll give you one. It's all about Nancy. Who is Nancy? It's my little niece. She left the house for some time now, and I have the feeling that Chibo knows where she is. <sighs> Isn't that what you've always wanted? You wanted her out of the way. Not out of sight. I wanted her very close where I can detect what is happening in her life. <sighs> I don't want that girl anywhere, anything called school. She was so nice to me, Mercy. She ill-treated me at every given opportunity. She beats me up all the time. Strips me nude. And then I ask myself why? Why does she hate me so much? Why can't she stand my guts? I can't answer. Her husband. Kind. Good man. He speaks to her each time she ill-treats me. He cautions her. But he loves her. He loves her so much. And he can't hammer on the fact that she's not fair to me. And then I ask myself, how? How did he end up with her? In fact, you know that education has a way of making an idiot become wiser. All I wanted is for a man to come and marry her, a man that does not have respect for women's education. In fact, I don't want her learned at all. You fear that she might find out about the house? Of course, yes. How is she going to do that? I have the document right here in my confidential drawer in this house. And there's no record of any such purchase in the company files. Moreover, I am the only witness you have. I was the only one who knew when you bought that house for her mother. So how is she going to find out about it? And then why didn't you tell me about all this rather than keep it to yourself? I didn't want to disturb you, sweetheart, please. You didn't distract me. Rather, you made me feel like a substitute each time you had problems with your husband. How about you know that is not true? For Christ's sake, you know I love you so much. You know I love you so much, don't you? I love you. Please. I love you. Please. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. 
Yes, yes. yes. Hey, how could you be suggesting that I use my own money, my own personal money, to pay for a get that will sleep with that randy old fool? Are you crazy? I'm not suggesting anything. I'm only asking you to maintain customer satisfaction. That's all. Oh, God. You're right, though, but, you know, I've already discussed. The issue is that I've already discussed with control. And she promised to send me someone else. You know, Chief and his friends don't like use condom. They don't use condom. They prefer these special girls, these young and the girls that can take care of their health. It's the same thing. You could always go out there, pick any girl and give your old mogul. You don't understand. This mogul will know the particular girls they pay heavily for. You don't understand. So what are you planning to do then? Nancy, do you know what you do for me? You will help me locate the control. Please, I'll be trying to have my own. I'll try my best. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thank you. Oh, you there? Oh, you Hey! Thank God. Thank God I finally found you. Do you know I've searched everywhere in this whole school, but all to no affair? What happened now? Mama told me that you're not in accountancy. I'm just coming from that place now. They start your name from year one to the final year. Wasn't there. What happened? Oh, give me a minute. <laughs> you look as if you're not happy to see me. Well, um, Mama sent her regards. Do you know I was very happy the day Mama told me that you came to the village to see her? You even gave her money and even some for me. Ne, even rough for me. Darling, no. Do you know him? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Please forgive my bad manners. Let me introduce myself. My name is Okoro. Okoro Oba. I am her elder brother. <laughs> hey. And what are your names? Um, I'm Ifoma and she's Petals. Oh, Ifoma and Metals. Hey! Oh, mama, mama. Oh, Kafa, Metals. Show me love, Kameta. Hey! What about your car? Mama told me that you're not working in a big company. So, hey! Where is your car? Hey! Chineke, Ekele, Dereke. Ekele, Dereke. Hey! Oh, you? Oh, you? Hey! 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 What's the problem? This is my mother's name. My mother bought a house? How did you... How did you get this? In Paul's house. In Paul's house. How did he come about this? Is that why you're crying? You know, Paul. Paul has been having an affair. What? Paul is cheating on me with a married woman. A married woman? You know who that married woman is? Your aunt. 
Bye. Bye. Und? Bye. Finished. Oko has killed me. Who is Okoro? What what is it? You, what problems do you have at home? Okoro came to school to look for me in school today. Dressed in rags before Ifoma and Petros. Jesus. He was talking about Mama and all those stupid village stories. Chibura to sir. You are cool? How are you? I'm fine, sir. Now you sit for me, sir. Yes, I did, sir. I hope there is no problem. There's no problem. I decided to change my program. I'm not going to be staying till tomorrow like I told you. So I need you to give me the number of the girl you are ready to do me. Oh, Chief. Why are you talking this way? Chief, you know very well that I can't even try it. How can I dupe you? Chief, you know me very well. You know I have a problem calling the girls myself. But I hate when somebody like you that I trust so much will take me for a fool. So I would like to call that girl. Do you have any problem giving me the number? No, Chief. Can I have the number, please? Zero zero. Yeah. Three seven. Yes. Four four. Yes. Two five. Five four. Yeah. Jesus. Mercy. Yeah, you fooled me. You fooled me, bitch. I thought you were different. I never in my wildest imagination thought that you are this wicked. This is the height of deception. And you are the first daughter of the devil. You are nothing but a cheap harlot. An irresponsible professional prostitute and a senseless female dog. That's what you are. You know, to bad boss. I mean, with everything that you've called me, let, let me tell you something. Beds of the same feathers flock together. Which responsible girl would date a married man like you? When you have a wife at home, don't I know that I'm dealing with another woman a bad blow? Which responsible man organizes orgies after you told me that you were out of town? Tell me, which responsible man rips girls with broken bottles? You will rot in hell, and I promise you that. Sense. Where are women such chicks? I thought this girl was different. And I've been going around posing with her before my friends as my special girl. Can you imagine what some of my friends that must have gone to bed with her will think they will see me as a punk? If this girl don't move out of that house in the next one hour, she will regret the day she was born. See what's the problem? You girls, we need to leave this house. We need to pack and get out of here in an hour. Why? Because it's too bad Moses' house and he wants us to leave in an hour. Jesus Christ. How bad can today be? Jesus. I am never going to show my sorry face in school for a very long time. But to what matters, I have been rendered homeless. You can't be homeless. You have a family and a home in the village. You expect me to go back to the village? How am I going to face Okoro? Despite everything I did to him, all the embarrassment I caused him in school today? Hell no. Knowing fully well how he suffered to make sure that I go to school. That's the more reason you should go back. So you can correct things between him and yourself. 
You guys are still here? You do not realize that the little time we have in this house is sticking away. We have less than an hour. If you like, you can stay here. I'm out of here. A question what are you doing here okay let's see I came to check up on you since school hasn't given you time to be with me really is it not rather a coincidence that you and I seem to be very busy in our different works why don't you go out of here go back to your house and continue with your work with Oyeye, your sugar mommy What is that supposed to mean? Get out of my house before before I scratch off your eyes, poke off your nose, and feed them to you to eat. Get out. Are you daft? Or has your sugar mommy slammed your brain so badly that you don't know what get out means? Get out! Out! Hey, Paul. One last thing. I just want to tell you that I slept with your best friend, Truma. What? And it was for free. And it was so ooh, sweet. You. Messi, you. Messi, wait. Get out of me! Are you and what are you doing in my house? You are one of those useless old fools that throw money around and they make her feel students. Not to respect us, right? Mercy! Mercy, come out here now! And you, if you don't leave this house, I'll lock you up here. Nobody will find you. One more loves the talk from you. I said, get out. I said, one more loves the talk from you. And I'm gonna make you leave this house. Feet first, get out! I remember. He wanted to sell insurance policy to my husband. Very good. You see, I've been living in an estate called Zurich Estates, 135 precisely, for free for quite some time now. Until just a few hours back, I was asked to vacate the building. 
Don't you think you should discuss whatever business you have in mind with my husband? Exactly. But this particular business has everything to do with you. Let me tell you something about my landlord. My landlord happens to go to a hotel called Central Hotel and Towers with his friends. You know what they do there? They have orgies with all manners of exotic and expensive girls. I don't understand what you're driving at and how it concerns me. My landlord, he's, he's a chronic womanizer. I mean, he's a liar and a cheat. I just thought I should let you know. Wait, why are you telling me all this? Because my landlord is called Chief Bagnus. Your husband. Ask him how much of sex insurance I've sold to him. That's what I sell. Sex insurance. And not life insurance. Bad moss. Bad moss. God help you. Somebody help me, please. I've been shot. Somebody help me. I've been shot. Oh, I'm a chain person, I swear. Brother, I'm go, brother, I'm go. Mama. Hi. Mama, I'm go. Oh, you dear. So where did you get this from? That document shows that my mother is the owner of this house. Unfortunately for you, your lawyer boyfriend couldn't keep his mouth shut. While you were arguing, I got to know exactly where the original files were. You're a devil. So you want to come and rip where you did not sue, right? 
I will tell the entire world how wickedly you confiscated my mother's property. The only thing she left for me before she died. Does your husband know you collect the rent for this house? Does he? Will he shut up? And be rest assured that you're not leaving this house with these files. Come on, save yourself from the embarrassment of seeing all this nonsense you just vomited in your mouth right now. Nobody will believe you, not even my husband. I will believe her. And very well, too. She's lying. She's lying. You know, I didn't realize how much of a fool I have been until now. Well, I had doubts when Nancy here showed me the originals of the documents you're holding. Her mother gave you money to buy this house. You converted this house to yourself and convinced me to pay, to pay the rents. Chibo, she's the devil. Mm. We should not allow her to triumph over us. Okay. She's the devil. She's lying. Don't believe anything she's saying. What have you been doing with the rents you've been collecting? Huh? Spending, spending it on your wife. Right? Chibo, she's the devil. We should not allow her to triumph over her family. Mm. She's trying to destroy this family. Chibo, don't believe her, please. She's the devil. You are the devil. In fact, you are worse than the devil. Chibu. You are worse than the devil. And I believe, I believe that you will make a good wife to your new husband. Chibu, the devil is at work. She's the devil. She's at work. She, you should not allow the child. By the way, so all the time that you Get angry and leave this house in the name of wanting to be alone. You go to spend your time with Paul. You go to sleep with Paul. You are an epitome of wickedness. You are not fit to be a wife. You are not fit to be a mother. You are useless. This is my family. This girl wants to come and destroy my marriage. Do you have a marriage? Do you have a family? Are you a wife? Is this how wives behave? It's a good thing God has just revealed to me the kind of person you are. And I wish you luck. Oh, she's a devil. You're my husband. Chibo, I love you now. See me in a very long time. But if you really have to see me, I'm sure you know where to find me. Listen, I um, I've met you twice in my life, and in those two times, she channeled my life in the right direction. I don't know. I, I've made so many mistakes in my life, and I just hope that God. Oh, forgive me and um, give me the strength never to go back to my old ways. I want to say thank you very much. Mercy. Mercy, it's all right. God will see us through. I've gotten my mother's house back. And it's thanks to you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah. 
Yes. In my search for freedom, I've been through hell already. In my sad confusion, I've seen it all. I can't take it no more. You made life hell for me. I just wanna be free to rule my destiny. Oh, someday, free my dreams will come to pass. Oh, someday, can I get this off my mind? Oh, someday, can I live life and be happy? evil way to make things work I have sold my conscience now so I'll survive as a journey along I pray things follow right as I plane the stand God wash me once again oh someday pray my dreams will come to pass Thank you.